pickandrepair.com. We're all in this together. Hey, Ed Stephan here at Pick and Repair. Here to talk about IPR um, duty cycles. So your IPR is an injection pressure regulator valve. So key on engine off your uh, IPR duty cycle. And by the way, SCT mislabels this on their center ICP duty cycle, but it's really IPR duty cycle. Injection pressure regulator duty cycle should be 14.4 to 15. And then during cranking, it should be, um, you know, maybe, maybe it'll go up to height 84, 85%, but then it should settle down into the 40s and 50s and whatnot. Now, if your high pressure oil system is perfectly healthy, Right after the truck starts, you should be at like 30 as a duty cycle at just idle. And then at, uh, at hot idle, it should be like 21. At hot idle, the closer it gets to 30, the closer it is, is an indication to you that you actually have a issue with, um, with your high pressure oil system. You should have a leak of some sort. So that's the story there. All right. So um, hope this helps somebody. And oh, by the way, uh, there is also on the IPR valve, there's a conversation about, you know, is my valve sweeping? Is it fully functioning? Is it not fully functioning? And so you can tell that because um, as you're driving down the road, 30, 40, 50% duty cycle, and then you, you mash on the throttle and all of a sudden it goes up higher, and then you get off the throttle and it goes ahead and goes lower, and then hot it to 21%. And so that, that's a solid indication that your IPR valve is working great, and also that your high pressure oil system is working great as it should. So hope this helps, and um, if you have any questions, uh, please ask them in the comments below. By the way, if your ICP, um, sorry, if your IPR valve is having trouble, you don't necessarily need a new two hundred plus dollar valve, right? What you can actually do is you can actually take, um, you can actually take the. Um, we got another video on this, I'm pretty sure, but you can actually take um, the little screen, pop the screen off of the end of the IPR valve and that'll expose a little plunger inside there and take a little quarter inch diameter bolt maybe one inch long or something set that on your work surface on your on your bench and you can actually push the plunger down over that bolt as it goes into the bottom of the bore and you can squirt um brake cleaner or something inside of it as you actuate it up and down and you'll see little stuff coming all over your workbench and so you just clean up the valve and give yourself a new lease on life. By the way, that screen, you can, if you pop it off carefully, you can pop it back on again, so you're in good shape. If your screen doesn't have a little piece symbol on it, a little plastic cover, a uh, little plastic, um, black plastic piece symbol that, that, that supports it, you just have an old IPR screen. The newer design is, is better reinforced. And that, that screen is the last in line device, uh, the last in line thing to protect your injectors. So please, 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 please verify that that screen is good. By the way, um, if you do need a screen, you can either buy the IPR screen from, um, you know, the force got a partner for that, or you can buy a snap to connect fitting kit, which comes with the screen. It also comes with a new snap to connect fitting, imagine that. Also comes with a new H-pop cover gasket, and also comes with um, a, a turbo mounting kit. So a lot of bang for your buck. Instead of spending like, you know, $37 or whatever it is for the IPR screen, which is just a screen and a couple of washers, you can go ahead and get that and the, um, and the uh, turbo mounting kit, uh, which is like $12 uh, all together. And you're like, well, yeah, it's still more expensive than just buying the other thing. Well, yeah, hold on a second. Unless you want an H-pop cover gasket, which is another like 10 bucks, or unless you want a snap to connect thing, in which case, well, now you're buying the whole thing anyway. So even if you have an early built truck, there is logic in you say, hey, I have an 03 truck. I don't even have a snap to connect fitting. You're totally right. But you might decide that you want to buy the STC fitting kit anyway, because it's cheaper. So kind of the way it is. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks very much. Pick and repair.com. We're all in this together.